Welcome to the latest Craft Stash Paper Crafting Basics Guide. Our Craft Stash Guides are designed to show you common techniques alongside tips and tricks within the world of paper crafting. And in this video we're going to be looking at positional die cutting and rubber stamping. Now this basically means that you can get a rubber stamp of a certain shape and you can get a die that matches and it will cut out that shape. And some people get a little bit worried about using a rubber stamp and then die cutting it and thinking which way around do I do it? Do I do it stamping first, die cutting or do I die cut it and then stamp it? Well in this method we're going to stamp it and then die cut it and it will show you how we do it. So all I'm going to do is I've chosen from the Craft Stash Apple Blossom range from the Tropical Blooms. This is the set of stamps and I'm going to be using this stamp so it's a full stamp and I've picked this one so that you'll be able to see how I do it as it were and then the matching tropical blooms dies so there's a selection of dies available and on the opposite side it shows you how they all cut we're going to be using this one because it matches our rubber stamp now I've got to admit this is a brilliant set because it shows perfectly how we can use everything together. There's also an embossing folder which is fabulous as well to match the whole set. So I'm taking a piece of blank card and this is just normal white card. I've put my stamp on my acrylic block already and I'm going to use stays on ink. Now this is only because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So it's midnight blue ink and all I'm doing is taking the ink pad to the stamp, making light tapping all the way around to make sure I get the ink on the stamp. So then I can stamp onto my card. Now I'm using a stamping mat underneath for the simple reason it helps me with pressure because it isn't as hard as working on a table and if you've got anything wrong with um, your hands etc it just helps slightly to be able to get a good stamp so that's my stamped flower next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our die that matches the shape and I'm going to position it over the top of the stamped image so I'm going to marry up the actual shape of the die to the stamp and I think that looks like it fits there so don't worry if it's not too perfect but you're looking for the shape over the stamped image I've just added a little piece of paper craft masking tape over the top. So I'm putting it face down this time onto my die cutting machine. And I'm just going to put the top plate on. And then I'm going to run it through the machine. There we go. Now I'm going to bring it back to me only because the camera's in the way. You don't have to bring it back, but I have done. And it's fallen out on its own. And that is our perfect die-cut little flower and our stamped image. And that is just so pretty. So I could carry on and do all of those, but that shows just how easy it is to stamp and die cut with matching positional stamping. So now I can put my die back away and the masking tape can be used again for another project, don't throw it away. And I've got a perfect aperture in the card, I could use that for something else and that's my flower. So I hope that helps a little bit about how to use a die and a rubber stamp that match and use them as positional 
um, with each other so that you get that gorgeous cut from whatever shape or stamp that you're using. So please check out the Craft Stash website. There's so many different videos on there, full of inspiration, different guides of how to do different things. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. And it just remains for me to say thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.